Ooh boy, look at him, boy. The new extreme champion. Well, not really new. He's not He's not the new champion, but he's the standard of MDT Live. Just look at him, boy. Who's going to challenge Kevin Owens for the extreme championship of My Damn Nation? Let me know down in the comments section below. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have our second review of the WWE Elite Series 82 in 1 figure reviews, and we have my boy KO, the MDT Extreme Champion, the standard of MDT Live, Kevin Owens, and we have the brand new Ricochet figure, and I am excited for both of these figures. I think that we got some good stuff going on with both of these guys. We're going to get them out of the packaging. Updated KO right here. Looks like the tattoos are looking good. We are going to get into that. You guys know KO is probably my favorite favorite superstar in all of wrestling today. So I'm going to be very, very critical of this figure and we're going to see how that goes. And then Ricochet, this is our fourth Elite Ricochet, which is kind of insane when you think about, but I'm hyped to get into it. If you guys want to pick up either of these figures, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to make sure you save some money over there. And I want to give a shout out to them for making the review possible here today. And let's go ahead and dive in, guys. You do have your front viewing windows of both figures here. On the side, you are going to get a nice image of these guys here. I love the, the pistol off look of KO there. I like that. It looks like this beard color and hair color is much more accurate. On the back, we do have some bio read. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. We have the rest of the figures in the wave. On the side, we have a beautiful image of both men there, and that pretty much does it for our packaging of KO and Ricochet, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack Kevin Owens and Ricochet out of their packaging. So here is KO and Ricochet out of the packaging, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much getting exactly what I expect out of these guys so far from what I'm seeing. I am excited to pose them around a little bit, get into their accessories, get into the details of the figure, see if they've improved some of the things that maybe other figures that they've had in the past have had problems with, maybe some accuracies, things of that nature. I am excited to get into that and find out with you guys. So what we're going to do is get into Ricochet's accessories and then cover Ricochet, and then we'll run it back and get into KO's accessories and finish this video up with my boy. KO because that, that's my that's my man right there man got to get into the extreme champion but let's go ahead and dive into Ricochet's accessories so for Ricochet's accessories, guys, you don't get a ton. You know, you do get his nice entrance vest hoodie deal going on. And this I actually really like. I like the, the silver dry brushing. We got all of these buttons and things sculpted on here. You can like see the details that are sculpted on there. You have like these little divots and things of that nature. It goes on the figure well. You guys already seen that. You have the zipper painted. And it does have the classic AJ Styles technology where you can actually plug the hood on. I'll probably never use this. These hoods are always difficult to put on. And you do have the hood up version, which is this version. And then you have the hood down version if you guys want to port that in and then put that on the figure. And then for interchangeable hands, he always comes with mic holding hands and he always comes with these Kawhi Leonard size massive open hands that I always call. You got the knife edge chop hands, the shake, you know, the handshake hand. Uh, I call them the Kawhi Leonard hands because they're massive and Kawhi Leonard has massive hands. Let me know if you're an NBA basketball fan down in the comment section below. Lake Show for life. NBA champions, baby. Let's get it. But here is, uh, you know, the vest. I think the vest looks good. I don't know if you guys are getting these details that we're getting right here. And it is rubber, which of course is okay with me when it deals with rubber, you know, with vests and hoodies and things of that nature because they're they're way easier. They don't hinder articulation and everything like that. But that pretty much does it for Ricochet's accessories, guys. Nothing too over the top. We don't get a championship or anything. So with that being said, let's dive into Rico himself. So getting into Ricochet himself, guys, this head scope we have seen many, many times before. We had the Elite 69. We have the top talents. We have the network spotlight. And here we are with the Elite Series 80 Ricochet. And he has the exact same head sculpt. How freaking crazy is that? Same exact torso. Same exact arms, I'm pretty sure. I don't think... I don't know if any of his... Uh, I think his Elite 69 figure had black wrist tape. And then the top talents figure had longer white wrist tape. But you guys will notice here, speaking of wrist tape, his tattoo actually is printed over the white wrist tape, which we are going to have to fix on surgery. But that is... That is crazy. I don't know how that happens, but every single single figure has gotten this problem. It, it, it's a running thing that happened. I don't know if they're going to fix it in post. I don't know if like they'll have a running change for it, but his tattoo does go over the wrist tape, and if you guys want to switch this out, you can either, you have two options. You can either replace the arm with a Ricochet Elite arm that's already got white wrist tape, and you just want to replace it, and you know that the, an older Ricochet Elite doesn't have that problem, or you can just take some white paint and just paint over it, which is probably what I would suggest. That way you don't have a Ricochet with tattoo over the wrist tape, but that is really crazy that that happened. Happened. I cannot believe that. One thing I do want to also notice and point out is that the crotch is actually a Buddy Murphy molded crotch. So it has the 
belt on there. It has the designs. It has the nice little cross hatching uh, piece right here for the pants, which is really cool. I like this mold. I think it's great. One thing that does suck though, he is not on ball joints. So he's not on ball joints like Buddy Murphy is, but he does have the nice crotch mold on there. I like this blue color we got going on. It's not accurate. I think this is more of a Concord or a, a darker deep blue compared to the Nightwing blue that he wore. I think the Nightwing blue was way lighter than this, like a Nightwing blue, which is what this attire is based off of. You know, things like that. You have the nice silver going on in there. I like that. First Ricochet Elite that has knee pads. You have the open knee pads, which are accurate, and it does have one and only on this side, so we love to see that. Thank you so much to Mattel for that. And then he just has his solid black boots on there, but I like this Ricochet. I like the attire. I like more brighter attires over the black attires, but since it is Nightwing and everything like that, I, I can pass for it. I think it looks good. One thing I might do, just for shits and gigs, is add bl a blue belt with white outline. I think that would really make the attire pop, and maybe even switching out these boots for different boots could possibly make it sick nasty farticles. And even maybe switching these arms with Elite 69 Ricochet arms and giving him the black wrist tape and having like an all black look, I think that would also make it clean. So maybe th those are some surgery ideas that we have for this Ricochet figure, but we'll have to see about that. But that pretty much does it for your Ricochet Elite. So for your Ricochet Elite figure comparisons, guys, we do have the Elite 69 on the far left. We have my custom from Mac Decals, the Fantasy Attire MDT Live slash Pink and White and Black Attire. And then we have the Top Talents figure here on the far right in the silver or gray or the NXT TakeOver attire. And all of them look good. I enjoy Ricochet's figures. They're fun to collect, especially when you have the long tights designs and stuff like that. If you guys are wondering about the height, it seems to me that they are pretty much the exact same height. Maybe the Elite 69 is just a tad taller, but I don't think they changed any parts on this uh, besides the crotch piece, and that maybe made him a little bit shorter than he was. But at the end of the day, it doesn't make a huge difference like we're seeing over here with the Mac Decals Custom. I think the Mac Decals Custom is much better in height accuracy. But uh, yeah, I, I still like the ricochets we get. I'm missing the Network Spotlight, so that is a figure I definitely have to track down to add to my Ricochet collection. But at the end of the day, I like the new Elite 80, and it's definitely better than his last Elite in the main Elite line. I don't know if I like it better than this attire. I think if this attire had this crotch piece and not just a painted on crotch piece, and it had the iridescent feel to it instead of just the matte silver slash gray, this figure would probably be better, but I don't know. Let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. Which attire of Elite Ricochets do you like more? That does it for our Elite Ricochet figure comparisons. So for Kevin Owens accessories, guys, we actually get a weapon. We get a full-fledged short ladder. Now, this isn't too, you know, anything out of the ordinary. We have seen these ladders in the past, so it's nothing crazy like that, but it is a nice ladder, and it's got good, uh, you know, color to it. It's got like a pale silver, a dull silver going on. It looks nice. Again, nothing too ridiculous. I believe he was in like a retirement ladder match or something, and this is what this is from with Shane McMahon. He also comes with a briefcase that I guess contained his contract on that night. It's just like your Chase Money in the Bank briefcases that we've seen in the past, but it is an all silver color. I think we've seen this with the Elite 40 IRS. IRS. We've seen this with multiple figures in the past, so it's nothing too It's nothing too out of the ordinary. It's nothing outstanding as far as accessories goes, but you know, it's, it's a cool accessory to add to your backstage area or something like that. And he also comes with interchangeable hands. He comes with mic holding hands with his tattoos and stuff, and he also comes with fists. So one hand out of the packaging is a mic holding hand, one is a fist, and this is just the alter ego of those. But uh, that is it for KO's accessories, guys. You know, both of these figures really don't come with a whole lot, which isn't the biggest deal of all. But, you know, uh, I still wanted to get in here, show you guys what they came with and everything like that. It'd be cool to see one day maybe an Extreme Championship come with a KO. Would you buy a KO with an Extreme Championship accessory? Let me know down in the comments section below. Now, on to my boy KO, guys. This head sculpt is nice. I do really like this head sculpt. We've taken a look at this. This is the basic 111 head sculpt, and I like the mold a lot. I think the sculpt is so good. I like the beard sculpt, the hair, the head sculpt looks great. I think this is the best KO head sculpt to date. Only thing I have a problem with is that he is, he, it's way too red, man. His beard looks way too red. It's got like a lightish brown color going on. I did repaint my KO with my updated KO, which we'll take a look at in the comparison shot of the video that looks way more accurate. It looks a whole lot better than this, and I cannot wait to repaint this one because I think it's going to look a lot better. And this is probably what he's going to look like going forward on MDT Live because this is updated. I might buy another one and do like a custom or, or just, you know, a different attire maybe make, make this pink or something to, or, or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll definitely figure it out, but I like the way this looks. I'm enjoying it a lot, and uh, yeah, I like this head sculpt a lot. We are going to repaint that. Going down into the shirt, it is the Stun Owen Stun shirt. I like the way this looks. It does have the KO on the back, which I also like. I want to say I own this shirt. I may not own this shirt, but I, I could have sworn I owned it. Onto his tattoos, I do have a problem with the tattoo placement. I think the bull is in the perfect position, but I think
think this snake right here with the red tongue coming through needs to be moved to the tricep. All Everything from the bicep down needs to be shifted to the right, just a little, or the left, I'm sorry. I guess if he's this way, it'd be to the right. But from our angle right here that we're looking at, every tattoo needs to be shifted to the left, and it would look a lot better. We'll see that in the comparison shot of the video when we compare it to my custom. And on this side, I think that the dinosaur head tattoo is too big. I feel like it's not that big. Uh, I feel like shrinking it down would make it look a lot better, so the placement's a bit off. But I am just glad to have a KO that has all the updated tattoos. One thing they did do is they updated the live tattoo down here. When the first figure was first shown, like the prototype, this live or evil tattoo here on the forearm for KO was much larger and inaccurate, so I'm very happy to see that they fixed that. That is great news to see. He does have his Elite 46 shorts on. These are the same shorts that he's worn for a while now. They just say fight on either side. No other colors. It's just plain black. And then he does have his signature wrestling boots. No kick pads now. And he does have the red laces that tie into the shirt, which I do enjoy as well. But overall, I like it. I think this is the best KO to date. I think the Elite 66 is still a really good figure. I think I like the attire of the Elite 66 more, which we'll also get into, but this is still a really nice KO, and I am, I am enjoying it just because I'm a huge KO mark, but there is our boy Kevin Owens. So for our Kevin Owens figure comparisons, guys, we have my updated Elite 66 custom slash fix-up Kevin Owens, and this one has a repainted head sculpt of the Basic 111, which is what this is, and I definitely like my custom head sculpt better. It's much more accurate. It looks way more more like KO, the beard color, and everything like that. Here's a difference in the tattoos. You guys can see my tattoo's much smaller there with the dinosaur head, and the live tattoo looks good. I think I like this tattoo better than that one, so I may switch out a forearm with that. And here are the tattoos on the hand-painted here. Here's a difference in the hand-painted tattoo compared to the uh, the tattoos from Mattel. And you guys can see here, here's the tongue from that snake head right there, and you guys can see how this one's in the middle of the arm. I put mine further back because it is more on the tricep. Then you have this condor coming down here. It's more of like on his bicep. Uh, down here, you guys can see the gator on the uh, Elite 80 figure, and then the gator for mine is on the back of his form, which it actually is. And on the inner arm, you guys can see that the gorilla tattoo goes all the way inside there when mine is completely on the forearm. So I definitely like my positioning of the tattoos better. Theirs is definitely more clean and everything like that. But I think my placement is better, and I think my head sculpt is better, especially as, as far as paint-wise is going, or the paint job is concerned. Shorts are the same. Bo boots are virtually the same except the laces and yeah I mean I, I like it I can't wait to fix up the new Elite 80 figure I think it's going to be a lot better once we do some surgery and stuff which is what we always do with our Elite 80 or our new figures we always put them in surgery and fix them up a little bit and make them look better but that pretty much does it for your Elite 80 figure comparisons for Kevin Owens we also got to see what he looks like the new Elite 80 Kevin Owens, see what that looks like with the Extreme Championship, especially since it ties in the colors, man. Look at the colors right there. Oh yeah, baby, that looks super badass. Look at him. Who is next for Kevin Owens? Who the hell is this man gonna defend the championship against next? Absolutely phenomenal for Kevin Owens. Look at him. Just looks like a baller animal. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much going to do it for our 2-in-1 Elite 80 review on the brand new Kevin Owens and Ricochet figures. Overall, I like them a lot, especially if you missed out on the Elite Ricochet Network Spotlight, the Elite 69, the Top Talents figures. I know that Ricochet's figures kind of fly off shelves, so if you miss out on them, they could be gone forever. Like, they are really hard to track down. I know at one point his figure was going for, like, 60, so hopefully you guys can get this one. This is definitely the best Kevin Owens because the beard is longer, the tattoos are there, it is updated, it looks fantastic. Even though Kevin Owens is probably going to end up having two full sleeves by the end of it is still nice to have an updated KO for the moment and I'm sure they could easily fix it up and I'll, I'll paint on tattoos if I absolutely have to just like I did with my other Elite 66 over there a while back but if you guys would like to grab these figures go over to Ringside Collectibles use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there and do not forget to leave me a like and a comment for a potential future shout out in a new video. A huge shout out to Dell Toilet who says who else wants Viking Raiders versus Young Bucks and my God, what a football game that would be. I would love to see that, whether it's in the pick fed, whether it's in real life. Young Bucks and Viking Raiders, that sounds like a damn good thing. If these guys come to the pick fed, guys, they will definitely be called War Machine. They will not be called the Viking Raiders, the Viking Experience, the Viking anything. They will be War Machine. They will be War Machine, and they will do war. They will do war. Not Viking nothing. Get it out. But anyways, guys, I highly recommend both of these figures. I adore them. I think they're great. If you have the Elite 66 KO and you don't care about the tattoos, you don't care about the bearded head sculpt as much as I do, then I, it's completely skippable. And then if you have the other Ricochet figures and you like that, it's, those attires, I don't see a reason why you would want this one. I don't know. I guess it's all personal preference. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching.
watching, do not forget to leave me a like and a comment down below for a potential shout out. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, thank you.